Welcome to Pirates pregame. I'm Ali Cohen alongside Michael McHenry, the Astros pitching, hitting, plate discipline. We saw it all last night. They put on somewhat of a clinic. You heard Neil Walker saying, when you play a team like that, you've got to get ahead in the count or else they will wear you down. Four seasons in. I'm going to get into a fight with a mascot before this year's on, over. Please do it on live TV. In basketball, when I used to play AAU, that was the remedy for every single thing. When you got hurt on the road, you go to CVS, right? It get that arnica. Power's <laughs> not always in hype, but when you talk about guys coming out, you like, you know, he's standing tall on the mound, probably not fearful, too many guys charging him. But obviously, you don't, don't want to, like, you know, benches clearing, that's fun for fans to see, but like, you don't want guys throwing, throwing punches, really. So it's kind of interesting the curve versus lefties staying up mm -hmm. up middle and obviously don't yep he's don't. trying to stay more true against those lefties the righties he gets on the side of stuff a and that's bit what more. Matt, that's what caps and i they, we were talking about the other day actually because when we were talking about the sweeper and the curve he was saying that most guys don't actually throw a true curve nowadays they are that's why when he said the other day it's really a sweeper or a curve same thing because most guys are throwing at an angle no, right. no, guys aren't really throwing that vertical curve right. as much as they used to well this was the first game in a while for both teams with no home Runs. Mm -hmm. I thought you were going to finish my sentence because we're that. No. <laughs> uh, so the Braves 20 consecutive games with a home run. The Pirates 7. Neither team homering today. I was going to ask you what the separator is between a pitcher who has stuff and who can throw that stuff consistently and guys who have stuff and are maybe not as consistent. So with Keller, I know you guys talked about yesterday, the separator between those two pitchers are in the separator is in game adjustments. So with Keller, what is his next step? to be able to do that. Speaking of approach, Johan Oviedo, his last outing earning a, a pretty big win, hadn't had a win for a while just because he hadn't really been getting the offensive support, but everything lined up, his last outing, everything lining up again today. He threw a ton of pitches in the first inning, but no damage done, settled down, seven innings, a one-run ball, and that one run came in the seventh inning. His velo down on all of his pitches except for his changeup. Do you think that's affecting his command, helping his command? So Brian Hoeing will be facing one of his former collegiate teammates in Henry Davis. They were teammates in 2019 in Louisville. I know that you and Neil didn't go the college route, but what's it like facing a former teammate from any level in the big leagues, like the emotions? It's kind of like, wow, like we, both made, we both made it. We both did it. Do you see all of these celebratory accessories that are in the Pirates dugout? And, you know, you see it across the league now. Uh, could you imagine that type of thing back in, back in your day? What would what, what have went <laughs> Uh, <laughs> uh, I know he's probably going. not. Robbie, what did you do with your extra time today? Get to go to the gym, lift a little weights, maybe? <laughs> yeah, does it look like I go to the gym and lift weights? <laughs> <laughs> I think what's under that jacket is very <laughs> deceiving. Come on. Is of course I don't, Al. <laughs> very, very <laughs> deceiving. I got both. You got both. Got Happy both. Sunday. Yeah, thank you, baseball Gr guys. Green, no hitting the Pirates through seven and one third, was pulled after 118 pitches. The Pirates was the sixth team in Major League history to be no hit and win the ball game. And I know it's warranted, you know, it's been part of the game for years, cheering, booing, yelling, whatever, heckling, whatever it is. But nowadays, especially in the last 10 years, the social media aspect has added another layer, another, another sort of pressure for these guys. If you had social media back in the day when you played, what, how do you think that would have affected you and your game? We're going to start with the most obvious, your good friend and former teammate, Andrew McCutcheon, back in a bucko uniform at PNC Park for the first time since 2017. We knew that it would be special, but I don't think unless you were here, you could really understand how special it was. Switching over to his bat, talked about something that he does at the plate that's super uncommon, does not wear batting gloves. Yep. Seeing guys like uh, Jorge Posada, Craig Council, guys who didn't wear gloves. Did you ever consider not wearing gloves? I never considered it. I, you're a I, golfer, because you're. I feel like that's where it came from, from the yeah, golfing. Yeah. Right? A lot of hyped up energy around Not this yet. place over the weekend, Roberto Clemente weekend, the Yankees mm -hmm. in town, but the Pirates coming off of a series win over the Washington Nationals. They get it done today, 2-0 the final behind a stellar performance from Mitch Keller. There's little Reese Reynolds. So cute. We love it. For Michael McHenry and our entire crew here at AT&T Sportsnet, I'm Ali Cohen. Thanks so much for hanging.